Om Sai Ram friends, this is VenkatPastasa.com. Today I wanted to take you through uh, the experience I had in Sridi trip in 2007 with a couple of my friends and two uncle. The thing is that every trip to Sridi is beautiful, but in 2007, Baba taught me a lot. So this video is not about, not about the teachings I learned in 2007 Sridi trip. This is about a simple photo tour. So I'm going to take you through few memories, few photographs I took in 2007. And I will just explain you what experienced when I took those photographs. I hope you will like it. It might be boring for few of you, but if you love speaking about memories, looking at photographs, you will certainly like this. So this was, uh, this is this beautiful Dwarkam. Uh, this is, uh, you know, this is Dwarkam. I, this is Chavdi. Uh, it was a Thursday when the, uh, you know, when the beautiful, uh, this thing was going on, you know, the uh, Palki was festival was going on. So again, this is Chavdi. You can see the golden Gopuram of Sridi temple. Inside the Ch Chavdi, they were lighting the lamp and, you know, doing Aarti for Baba's photograph. Another view. So you can see inside the window of the Chavdi, they were doing the puja. The festival got over, the Palki festival got over. So this is how beautiful it is. Now again, this is uh, the when we went to Mahalsapati's home. As you all know, Mahalsapati is the one who invited Baba's Aosai. When Baba got down the, the Tonga, uh, the horse uh, chariot and the uh, uh, he was looking like a saint and Mahalsapati saw him and called him outside. So this was when we went to Mahalsapati's home in Sridi. And I forgot where I took this. Again, I forgot where I took this. So this is Kanifnath Temple in Sridi. It is located near the temple complex itself. I remember um, Gopis are telling me about Kanifnath. There are nine Nats in, uh, in, in our culture. In, there are nine sacred saints like and one of them is Kanifnath and Kanifnath is a very divine saint and he's named of Kanifnath is because he came out of the uh, elephant's ear so he's called Kanifnath one one particular uh, uh, set of families they worship Kanifnath in Sridi so again this is Gopi Sahar who lived in 20, lived in Sridi for 25 30 years he only introduced us this uh, Kanifnath temple So this is Rajaram uncle who, in, who first took me to Sai Baba temple in Coimbatore in, back in 1994, 93 or 94. This is his son uh, Kanna, my friend. So this is Nanjunan sir. So we all were standing outside Kanifna temple in Sridi. Again, see. It's a very small temple and I had very good memory. I really wish to see how this temple is today. So this was when we had uh, our uh, breakfast in Sai Madras Hotel. All of you would have known about uh, Sai Madras Hotel in Sridi. So this was when we had uh, our breakfast. And this is, uh, forgive me if I'm wrong, I think the family of Lakshmi Bai, you know, Baba gave nine coins, see these nine coins to Lakshmi Bai uh, to few minutes before his uh, Samadhi, I believe. And this is one of the daughter-in-law in Lakshmi Bai's family. And she was very kind. I offered her sari and I fell in her uh, uh, feet and got uh, Ashirwad. During this trip, it's a very beautiful memory because I tried to meet everyone in uh, whose, uh, whose ancestors have met Baba and I offered them sari or any Dakshina and I fell in their feet and got their Ashirwad. I, will never forget 2007 Sridi trip at all in my life. And this again is, I believe, Lakshmi Bhai's Samadhi. This is very uh, opposite to Dwarka Mai. There's a small road. If you go there, you can see this. I think now they have reconstructed it, but it is still very beautiful memory for me to see Lakshmi Bhai's Samadhi. Forgive me if I'm wrong. I just remember what I could. This again, 
this is Sama's home. You know, I all know Sama is, uh, Sama is a very close devotee of Baba. Uh, Raja Ram uncle, my friend Venkatesh, Kanna, Nanjan and Sar, we, are all, we, we all went uh, and gave her, of course, the sari which I bought and uh, she also accepted and uh, I fell in her feet and got uh, blessings. This is the daughter-in-law of Shama. And this Lord Ganesha statue here in the puja room of Shama, it was given to Shama by Baba himself. And you all know there is a chapter in Sai Sacharita where Baba will ask um, the devotee to go all the way to, I think Shama wanted to go to Saptasringi Devi temple. Can you see this Saptasringi Devi temple in Vani? I think it is 50, 60 kilometers from Sridi. So this is Saptasringi Devi. And this is the Ganesha Baba of, gave as a gift to uh, Shama. This was in Mahalashmi temple in Sridi, one of my favorite temple in Sridi. This is hotel opposite to Hotel Nita and it is in Pimpalwadi Road. Ask anyone, it is also near the temple complex. You will, you should visit this Mah Mahalashmi temple. I just love her. This is the outside of the Mah Mahalashmi temple. And again, the temple complex back in 2007. Again, in between the Sridi streets. And this is a very good memory because, you know, this person wearing this muffler over here on the left, this person, they said he is the one, he has done haircut and saving for Abdul Baba. You know, all, you all know that Abdul Baba lived with uh, Baba. He is very close uh, devotee of Baba. So this person did saving and haircut for Abdul Baba. And they said uh, back then he, he just did that for one Anna, you know, just one Anna. Uh, one good thing happened, friends, for me, because few days after I took this photograph, this, uh, I think few months after that, he passed away. This person passed away and his son did not have any good photograph of him. And Gopi sir, he asked me to send the photograph I took of him, which they are still using, I believe. And this is the close-up photograph of Kanifnath Temple in Sridi. You know, I even made small uh, little uh, posters of uh, this Kanifnath Temple. Uh, which some of them didn't like actually uh, because it, this temple bill is worshipped by very few uh, a particular family in Sridi, I believe. So, so this again. So this is the photographs I took in Sridi. So from Sridi, we had a very beautiful experience in Seven Nations Swamiji Samadhi. So who is Seven Nations Swamiji? So if you want to learn more about Seven Nations Swamiji, Seven Nations Swamiji uh, lived in Sridi from I believe 1954 to 1996, he went to Sridi all the way from Coimbatore. One relationship between Seven Nation Swamiji and me is that, uh, of course, I cannot, I am nobody to relate myself to Seven Nation Swamiji, but the thing is that he belongs to Coimbatore and he traveled all the way. He was working in Mumbai, but somehow he, he didn't like it and he decided to, uh, you know, go to uh, take, the, they take the path of. Uh, devotion and he decided to go to uh, Sridi. The way he went to Sridi, I will, and how he still started to live in Sridi, I will separately make another video for you about it. So now let us see the experience we had in Seven Nation Swamiji Samadhi. So where is Seven Nation Swamiji Samadhi? First I will tell you that, see, this, the, all these photographs you are going to see now is taken here, this place. This is I'm using Google Maps satellite view. So this is Seven Nation Swamiji Samadhi. And this is another hall and all. I'll just zoom out and show you so that you can easily understand where it is. See guys, this is Sridi. You can see this is Varkamai and this is Pimpalwadi Road. See my mouse cursor. This is Pimpalwadi Road. And before, see this is Pimpalwadi. You don't have to go to Pimpalwadi. Just two and a half kilometers from the Samadhi Mandir in that Pimpalwadi road. Gradually, if you go, if you see, there will be a left cut. If you go inside that, this place will come. You have to clearly ask them, don't use Google Maps because they have wrongly mentioned another place as Sinesha Swamiji Samadhi, but it is coming earlier itself, just two and a half kilometers from the Samadhi Mandir in Sridi. A place you must visit. Uh, I, and if you want to learn more about it, you write to me or just so search for these terms, how I met Seven Nation Swamiji of Sridi and use the term star sai, you will surely find it. You'll learn more about him. 
so we will continue to speak about civilization so i mean the photographs i took in so this is the beautiful duni in civilization swami ji samadhi in sirdi this is kasyap ji nanjun nansar and my friends father rajaram uncle who first introduced me to baba back in 1994 he took us to saiva temple in kaimatur yeah i've already mentioned that but if i never will just go through this yeah this now you can see all of us taking a photograph in the civilization swami ji samadhi okay where guess where i am this is me so that 2007 is also memorable because i prayed for my sister sister's family everyone and i offered my hair in sridi itself people usually offer their hair in tirupati uh, and to lord murugan in palani hills but i offered my hair in sridi itself in during that trip so this is me guys so again photograph can see me and this was do uh, those, those now it is completely constructed in 2007 they were actually constructing the civilization samaji samadhi so this photograph so see you can see the construction being done this is baba's flag uh, raised in uh, civilization samaji samadhi again uh, i believe this is the uh, samadhi of zarain ma'am zarain uh, madam has written many books on baba she is an ardent devotee of baba and also she accepted seven nations samaji as her guru and um, this is her samadhi so this is also located in seven nations samaji samadhi that place and you can see this long side view okay this is a beautiful flower okay this place i someone told me it belongs to uh um, baiji ma's uh, grand uh, that their family i believe someone said there is a well somewhere here and uh, under that only so these places used to be you know completely forest those days when baba lived and baba used to roam in these places and baiji ma used to carry um, food for baba and spot him near the well or somewhere in the forest and offer him the food you all know the story right so they said it could be this place so we stood on the wall near the civilization samaji samaji and looked at those places this dog uh, i think the dog would have passed away now his name was sartak a beautiful dog this is the samadhi of civilization samaji friends it is very, it was very happy experience for us to you know experience civilization swami ji so this is civilization swami ji for those who don't know who is he or not seen his photograph this is civilization swami ji baba's painting this is zarain madam who has written very beautiful books on baba again a statue of civilization swami ji this is me and this is ajay he is getting married now <laughs> i took it in 2007 now in august 2000 in june 2020 he got married his father told me that so this is kashyap who's my very good friend so <laughs> this was a discussion we had i still remember um kashyap was still suggesting us why don't you guys buy a land in sridi and we are were all were speaking about it um of course it did not happen because uh, of course now the rules have been changed i think only uh, maharashtri and maharashtrians can buy land in sridi i'm not sure about it but that is how it works mm. so again me meditating in sivanesan swami ji samadhi one of the most memorable uh, one of the important photograph in my life you can't see my face clearly but i still remember those beautiful days again meditating uh, near swami sivanesan swami ji samadhi my friend venkatesan karna okay again the photograph of this uh, old man whom i photographed okay so this is my experience in sivanesan swami ji samadhi so now <coughs> we also went to another place triambakeswar so i will just show you where is triambakeswar if you go to sirdi 
it is around 110 foot uh, kilometers from so this is ready so you can go to nasik we also went to many temples in nasik and also we reached triambakeswar so now i'm going to show you the photographs we took in triambakeswar so this this was on the way the highways uh, on the way to triambakeswar very beautiful like the moment i got down triambakeswar i was just mesmerized by this beauty of these mountains near the holy temple triambakeswar is one of the jyotirling very divine temple so this again is in triambakeswar see the small falls because of rain I was just adamant that I wanted to bath here. Both these uncles, who are my father's friends, they scolded me, saying that it is risky to take bath here. So again, so I was. I told them this man is standing here. Why shouldn't I bath here? But they didn't allow me to bath here. Again, the mesmerizing beauty of Triambakeswar. If you go in rainy season, this is on the way to Triambakeswar. On the way to Triambakeswar, a small beautiful temple. A close up of Trishul on the way to Triambakeswar. My friends, again, very good memories. My friends and uh, the elders who accompanied us. Me, look at me. This is, this is me. <laughs> look at my dressing. Look at me. I, I have been like this all my life. Yeah. So this is very beautiful experience in Triambakeswar. Now I'm going to so tell you about another beautiful like experience I had in Sirdi in 2007, 2007. So what we did, it was a very, it was, uh, I think it was a very auspicious day, something. So someone told, why don't you guys, go? so this is Sirdi guys. Why don't you go to Puntambi? There is a place called Puntamba, which is just, uh, uh, you know, it is just somewhere around 13, 14, 15 kilometers from Sridi. So this is Sridi. You just have to ask them where is Pimpalwadi Road. In the Pimpalwadi Road, in the midway itself, within 200 kilometers itself, you can see here there will be Seven Nations Swamiji Samadhi. After visiting that, go through Pimpalwadi, go here, go here, go here. After some 15, 16 kilometers, you will reach Puntamba. All the way, guys, see in Puntamba, I will just zoom it for you. In this map, there is no water, okay. But we went the time we went, so much of water was you know, Godavari was flooding, lots of water. It was such a beautiful scenic place for us to see. All the way, because of some auspicious event, these people, the, the Maharashtrians, they were uh, walking all the way to temple. One uh, great gift Baba gave us friends, we purchased some 50 to 100 small water packets. So wherever we stopped the car, the rented car, we gave them water packets. It was very hot also those days. And those, those guys were very happy to have those water packets. So uh, if you get this opportunity to give water or food to people during your any pilgrimage you go, uh, make use of it. So this is in Puntamba, a major festival was happening there at that time with my friends. Nanjundan uh, Sar again, this colorful, all these shops were there in the roadside. Rajaram uncle who first introduced me to Baba, taking me to Nagase Mandir in Kaimato back in 1994. The temple Gopuram in Puntamba. See, Maharashtra, if you see, okay, of course, in, 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 in India, if you see, there are so many uh, ancient saints, but in Maharashtra, almost all of this uh, uh, Datta avatars have, have some relationship with uh, Maharashtra. And the probably maybe they had this such a kind of amazing, beautiful Guru Bhakti. We never know why Sai chose Maharashtra and especially Sirdi. Maybe Baba loves their Guru Bhakti. Uh, here in Puntamba, there was a saint who lived for, uh, forgive me if I'm wrong, he lived for 5,000 years. His name is Changdev Maharaj. So his Samadhi is also there in Puntamba. You can see we are all going towards that uh, Godavari River. I will show you where it is. This river, see this? It's here. So we are, so I suppose we are going somewhere over here. See, we have already gone near uh, the river. I was again adamant that I want to bath here. 
these elderly people who accompanied us they said you know ask me to shut my mouth and not to <laughs> take bath there again you know this was uh, see you can see jang dev maharaj it is uh, i know very little hindi so opposite to this i believe somewhere this jang dev maharaj uh, samadhi is there and we really enjoyed our time there guys they are all having some some stuff and this is the gopuram the okay here below this is changdev maharaj samadhi and he will be facing the river and it will be so beautiful friends so beautiful so beautiful and see the sobs the colorful uh, this thing it was a very i just missed uh, one more thing friends i i should have got at least 500 water packets but i just got 50 to 100 so that was the only thing i missed again elderly people uncles who accompanied us ah this is memorable photograph this man was uh, very happy to have us there all the way in puntamba he said uh, he asked us the shopkeeper he was making some uh, snacks with the with the oil and he was uh, speaking to us about where we come from and all my friends again so this is the driver who took us in this car to puntamba the scenic places on the way we got down and uh, you know we were looking at this place we admired the natu- the scenic place see look at me i used to have this bag friends back in 2005 uh, until 2009 uh, i think my sister gave it to me i used to take it every day to nagase mandir and i used to have i feel like crying when i say this because i used to have 30 to 50 photographs of very big size photographs of baba and i used to come around duni in nagase mandir and every day whenever i see any devotees are sad or something i used to give them this baba's uh, photographs to them uh, people who come to temple uh, they used to say photo kudukra paya which means the guy who gives photographs i used to come around duni so much with so much of love and such a good memory okay so that is it friends so 2007 sridi trip is memorable ha every sridi trip will be memorable but some during some sridi trip during some pilgrimages god and sai will decide to teach us a lot in my next uh, in one of my next few videos i will te- i will tell you about the experience i had in 2007 sridhi trip i don't know what else to say it's, it has become a long video but forgive me for the time i took but i feel happy at least i still retain these photographs because i will not forget these beautiful memories i had back in 2007 when my parents were younger at least 10 years younger 10 15 years younger and i i felt little bit happy i think those days though i was not having any job i was my parents allowed me to serve baba with heart and soul imagine at at the time i was 27 28 uh, i used to go to sayaba temple serve baba and just do some freelancing work and my parents allowed that and even now my parents allow me to are happy that i serve baba do i have a job uh, the contribution of my parents in my journey towards sai uh, until this moment and all my life is really great so with uh, i dedicate this video to my parents to my amma and appa om sai ram this is venkat first asset.com om sai ram om sai ram om sai ram om sai ram om sai ram, om sai ram.